In the last video where I was comparing a 3D Godot and Unity, a lot of you guys were asking for me to compare Godot multi-mesh with ECS. So today I set up the test and right here I have a multi-mesh instance 2D. I have the texture of the B passed here and in the multi-mesh I'm using the quad. So I'm gonna show what I have for the code as well and I'm doing the movement inside of the process on all of the instances. And for 3D, I have it set up the same. Some of you also mentioned running the renderer in multi-thread, but based on my test, whenever I turn on multi-thread, the performance actually drops. So I'm using single safe render. And for 3D setup, I have multi-mesh with a fish and a multi-mesh with a quad. So let's go and run them and see how that compares with ECS. So let's start with Godot 2D and I'm gonna run 10,000 units. So at 10,000 units, I'm getting around 77. Now, if we take a look at Unity running ECS with a sprite renderer at 10,000, I'm getting around 58 frames a second. But I've noticed that ECS doesn't do much of improvement in rendering when you're using Sprite Renderer. So running a quad instead of a Sprite Renderer in ECS at 10,000, I was getting 108 frames a second. So Unity was still a little bit faster than Godot 2D. Now let's go to Godot 3D and run quads at 10,000. Now in 3D, I'm getting around 100 frames a second. So that is closer to Unity ECS, which was running at 108. Now let me also run the test for the fishes. And let's go to 10,000. And again, we're getting around 100 frames per second. And in Unity with ECS at 10,000, I was getting 115. Now let's take a look how these results change the graphs for the performance. Take a look at the 2D sprite graph right here. The new one that I just added is this orange one at the top, which runs the multi-mesh. And I also re-ran the tests for GD script. Someone mentioned in the comments to use static types instead of dynamic to improve the performance. And that did increase around 10 to 20% in performance. And also I rerun the Unity modern behavior test. For that, I changed the code to cache the transform component. So I wouldn't request each frame. That also increased the performance a little bit. And here's the 3D quad graph and Unity ECS and Godot Multi-Mesh is actually pretty close together. So they're giving about the same performance. And the graph for 3D Fish, they're also coming out together. So those are the results that I've got. If someone knows how to set up multi-thread in Godot, let me know and I'll try to include that in the test.